Toby, congratulations to the winner of the 2023 Tats Fink Desert Race. Yeah, look, we're stoked. Um, yeah, we, we, we were coming into this one a little bit unprepared, like uh, coming back in from the Baja races and stuff. We didn't know what to expect, but we just wanted to go flat out, put on a show and, um, yeah, try and see if we can ring the neck of this Tisco truck and it's um, done an amazing job and we've got a uh, got a three in a row. So, um, yeah, we're stoked. It was a bit of a perfect run for yourself. You had no troubles, did you? No, no, honestly, it was a um, good clean run yesterday. Um, yeah, we pushed pretty hard just to try and... It's, it's so hard to start at the front. You don't know, what, don't know what people are doing behind you. But, um, yeah, all went really well. And then just did a quick little check over in the truck and, and then just babied the thing home. So it was a uh, nice, good, smooth, clean run. And Duncan did an amazing job. And, yeah, we're stoked to be here. And how does it feel to be a three-time champion? Yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, three in a row. Um, and to have nine championships out here, it's... Uh, pretty crazy I don't know now I was like yeah I don't know I'll, I'll see what I can do next year but uh, now the double digit looks pretty good so it's like do we come and go again so I think I think it'll be a uh, yeah pretty big feat to try and get four but boys are on a charge and we're looking forward to see what will happen congratulations hey, champion thank you Greg well congratulations second place in the Fink Desert Race yeah thank you mate yeah we had a had a good run on the way home um, yeah really give it a push and uh, yeah we got second we're wrapped Bit of a tough prologue day, but you managed to make up a lot of bit of ground yesterday and then today just charged through. Tell us about your run up. Yeah, really like with with prologue we we try not to we don't really want to bin it. Like we don't want to roll it, we don't want to do any damage, you know, in prologue. So we just seem to be off a little bit. We need to push harder on prologue to be honest, just to get up there a bit further. Um, on race day on the way down, had a reasonably good we had a reasonably good run look look we, we just run our own race down to be honest we had a bit of dust um, and then that dust cleared up and then we just raced to the end and we just wanted to get down the other end to be honest so we could regroup and work out what we're going to do today first podium in a while how does it feel to be up on the you think podium yeah look it feels good we we've tried a lot over the last few years we've done a lot of development we did a lot of development for Albans in the early days with their, with their gearboxes and we've, we've been sort of doing development behind the scenes for other people and some of those early days the development didn't work out but it's really good now so um, yeah we're wrapped to be here to be honest. Trav, third place at the Tainsvick Desert Race, how do you feel? Um, yeah, good. We, we, um, we had some serious adversity to overcome this weekend. The car threw everything it could at us, all the curveballs. The team worked day and night to try and keep the car on the, uh, you know, keep it finished and, and, and we got it here. We, um, yeah, obviously lost a lot of time in prologue, lost a, a lot of time yesterday and then the motor finally let go on the way home today. So we just, we just, I can't believe we got here. I think, uh, I think the old man was giving it a push and, and helping it, helping us get here today. I mean, it must make the podium really special. You didn't get that win, but to, to fight through that adversity, that must feel really special. Yeah, no, it was good. We, um, we obviously it's our first year back in six years, so we just, we're just trying to figure the sport out again, and um, we, we, we can still drive the thing fast, so there's no doubt there. But we're just trying to keep it calm, get the thing to the finish, and see how we go. Three podiums in a row now. That's a really good start to the season. Yeah, well, that's good, and um, and look, yeah, it's it's a good good car, it's good, good race. What can I say? We just got to keep moving forward. Well, best of luck, and see you. We loved it. Thanks very much, James. Well, congratulations. You've won the side by side pro and class in the Tats Fink Desert Race. All I can say is that's a dream come true. Yeah, we are absolutely wrapped. Was it a bit of a tough run? You seemed like you were cruising the whole way through. Yeah, look, we um, we had a good run on the way up. We didn't push super hard either way. Uh, like both ends, of the car was unreal to be honest. Um, didn't have any real damage, so. Like I think we were just driving it well, where push where we had to, and back off where we uh, where we you know where we couldn't push it, you know. So driving smart, and I think we've come in with like a seven or so minute lead, so that's all we've got to do. You obviously had the issue at Pincare, and you've managed to bounce back with the perfect way. Does that make you feel really good? Yeah, this weekend has been a, been ace. Like the whole weekend, win and prologue, you know, and quickest away down, and then to win on the way quickest on the way home, come home with a win. What more can you ask for? You know, the team delivered the whole weekend. Mitch you know, the whole way up and back, perfect notes, um, car was perfect, the boys had it nailed with the mechanical side, we had no issues, so yeah, flawless weekend compared to Prune Carey.